Scott, here. Hello. Uh, congratulations on the movie. Thank you. Uh, it's a fantastic movie. You, you, one you wanted to make for a long, long time. The Wolverine yeah. movie you wanted to make. Were yeah. you delighted that not only X Men fans came to see it, but general audiences and made it such a big box office smash? Yeah, it's been. This is one of those kind of conundrums. We wanted to make a film truly for the fans. I mean, the hardcore fans who know a hell of a lot more about Wolverine than me. For them, who I've met over the years, but also we wanted to make a film that would have appealed to me before doing X-Men. I wouldn't have said I was a comic book sort of fan 20 years ago. And I wanted to get people like me to go because it's just a film. In the way Unforgiven did for people who weren't into Westerns. It was, that's sort of what we were going for. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks so much. Yes. Hey, Felipe. How are you? Good, man. Uh, so congratulations for the Thank award. Uh, so can you tell us maybe like three highlights from Shooting Logan? Uh, working with that cast, particularly Daphne Keane and Patrick Stewart, um, one a great legend, icon, veteran, friend, mentor, one in her first film that completely blew us away. Jim Mangold, the writer-director, he's a great friend of mine and I, I was annoying to him, I, fair to say, really annoying because for three years he knew what this meant to me. I'm ringing him all hours of the night, the day, what about this, what about that? And he just constantly said, trust me, trust me. And the moment I walked on set, I knew I could just trust him. So there's two. Uh, tonight's pretty sweet, I've got to tell you, because it's voted for by the fans. We made the movie for the fans. And this is the real icing on the cake. Thanks. Logan, oh. Daphne, she called you a human radio. So just on that, can you talk a little bit about what you were like on set with her? And then also Did she call me a human radio because I'm singing all the time? <laughs> That's classic. Um, yeah, I am a little bit like that. I thought I was the number one sort of human radio until I worked with Taryn Edgerton. That guy is an incredible singer all the time. But working with her, was that the question? I, I was going to then ask about Greatest Showman and obviously the success of the soundtrack and the sing-along versions. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I just popped into a sing-along version before I came here tonight, a little overdressed, because I love going into them. You see people, they go in dressed up, they're wearing T-shirts, they come in as groups. They are, people go crazy and they sing along. They know every single word. They know all the dialogue. Yeah. And it's like when I was growing up, I used to go to see Rocky Horror, right? And people would dress up. And I thought, that maybe we're becoming something like that. You know, it'll be me in 30 years turning up, playing my own part. That'll be the sad part. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.